All right, folks, we're here with Atlanta Hawks guard V. Kreitzer, friend of ours, with Bill Sanders doing big things at Binghamton. V, Atlanta, how's, how's it been, bro? It's it's different, man. It's different, you know, <laughs> from OKC. Uh, it's a different city, but I like it, you know. I am finally settling in, you know, got my got all my stuff from OKC, you know, got the apartment. So, you know, I love the city, I love the people here, I love the fans. So, you know, I'm excited. How's it been coach Nate McMillan, a dude who's did so many things in basketball, playing in yep. Seattle, great coach, me, different teams. Uh, yep. How has it been playing for, for him and him coaching you up, being a guard? Yeah, I think uh, it's different. Again, like, you know, I've compared a lot to OKC my first year, obviously. And it's just a different mentality. You know, here it's all about winning, you know. Um, so it's nice to be in a, an environment where, you know, you care about, all we care about is winning. You know, we, we, we want to take that next step and uh, we're trying to figure it out. You know, obviously we have all the talent and we believe in all the coaches, all the front office, you know, the whole organization that, you know, we can take that step. We have enough talent for you for sure. You know? And Coach Dayton said about you that you're a competitive young man. You love to work, you love to work hard. Mm -hmm. And so, I know you played ball in Czech Republic as a young dude, so uh -huh. about playing in Europe to now, how have you going as a player from some 17 until now? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm just trying to always uh, remain competitive, you know. Uh, obviously, the mentality is a little different here than in Europe. You know, we have a lot of, a lot of practice in Europe. Here's more games, so it's really trying to compete on days like this, you know, when we just play five and five. So, um, you know, on, in the game days when we don't you know, have enough runs, um, then you come in with the practice and, you know, it's good to get some competition to keep that level, you know, and always be ready for the night games. You, know, you never know when your game, uh, when your name's going to get called up. As we know, injuries happen in the NBA, and exactly. you, was ready, you was ready to play. You was in rotations, ready to go, getting better defensively as well, getting, getting strong. It's all about that, just always being ready. Whenever your number comes up, you know injuries going to happen. Yeah, on the team. obviously, it's, it, it happened here. It's a long season, uh, so you always got to be ready. Um, and uh, the coaching staff make sure that, you know, the guys that don't play every day, that we stay ready, you know. So then it's easier, you know, because, you know, you're not going to get a lot of opportunities, you know, when, when you're in a position like that. So you got to be ready all the time uh, and make sure that, you know, you're ready and make the best out of it. No doubt, it's about working with Nick Van Exel. I know doing doing pregame on game days, you're working at the arena working out. What has he meant to you in your game, man, working with that with that guy? Yeah, I mean he helping me tremendously, you know. First first when I got here to kind of fit in with the team and now they come that I'm still in, you know, uh, he just helping me you know, on the court and mentally too, you know, kind of walk me through it. You know, he understands the position where I'm at. So he's helping me, you know, get through it, keep working on my game. You know, we, we hear working a lot. So, you know, I'm excited that I have him as a as a coach and he obviously helps me a lot. No doubt. I mean, you like guard central, man. You got Nate McMillan, Nick yeah. Van So Did yeah. you watch those guys when you were over in Europe and you was over there? Did you watch those guys a little bit? Uh, I got to be honest, I didn't watch a lot because, first of all, because of the time difference, I haven't oh, yeah. watched a lot of NBA games. You know, like I watched more highlights. Obviously, I knew of them. I know that I know the game. Once I got here, I obviously, you know, found out more about them and how they play. So, you know, it's nice to have those guards that you know know the league really well. Uh, it's nice to have them as a mentor. No doubt. And how about going against Trey and Dejounte Murray, practicing every day here in the hallway? Those guys helping you get better defensively as well, because those guys have have some great moves, as you know. For sure. So, how help you defensively work on those, that kind of good talent every day? How does it help you at that end of the floor, B? For sure. Um, well, the most part is that they're competitive too. You know, so it's nice that in practice, you know, we don't we don't f around. You know, we going at it. You know, we going at it. So. Um, it's nice, you know, we have that, everybody has that competitiveness because then we can make each other better in, in practice, you know, when if, if everybody was kind of going through that motion, nobody would really get better. But you know, everybody in here is really competitive and we're trying to get better. So, you know, it, it helps. No doubt. And I, and I know, Pastor, like last night's game, you all fought back. You was down, but you fought back. You know, so it's all about your team being together, being cohesive, being calm. It's the the three yep. three C's. Yep. Coming back last night, even though you didn't get the win, but showing you can fight back no matter what. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a 48 minute game. You know, we always talked about that. Uh, it's start to finish. Um, we trying to, we, you know, we, we, we got some games where we dropped the last like three minutes, you know, so we just gotta found, we just gotta keep the, keep our heads up, you know, and things go, don't, don't go well and, you know, execute. And like coach said, the three C's, you know, that's, that's important. And, uh, you know, it's something we gotta learn. We watched the film today, so we know what we gotta do next. And what I love about you, Beat, man, you are a great teammate. You're cheering for your guys no matter what. You're first off the bench with a good play defensively. The Bob been a good teammate. You know you're not playing, but still being engaged and been a great teammate to the rest of your teammates out there, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, just trying to uh, help the team in any, any way I can. Obviously, I would rather be on court and helping them, but, you know, uh, I'm glad that, you know, I had this opportunity. 
and you know I'm just trying to help any way I can. So on practice day, you know, like I said, just being competitive, you know, making each other better, and then on games day, you know, cheering the guys up. No doubt. Now we talked this previously at the arena, but something for the show, man. Talk about Lavelle Sanders, man. Who are you? Both of you and I, are our friends. Talk about him, what he's meant to you, and how'd you meet that guy? He's over, over the years, man. I don't even remember. It's been a couple of years, I think. Um, but you know, he's been a good, good friend. You know, talk, talk to him a couple times. You know, didn't have a lot of conversation with him, but you know, good friend of mine helped me, helped me kind of settle in, and you know, hopefully in the next next couple of years, you know, I can keep in touch, contact, and you know, maybe sometime we can all have a dinner together. Yeah, I told him he's coming here and play and play Georgia, Georgia Tech, Georgia State. So we can all get oh, together. Oh, no, nice. yeah, we can, we can get a dinner <laughs> have together. You can have a good, good time with yep. me, man. I'll be cheering for you, brother. Thank you for your time with me, brother. Be safe, yeah. man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my guy. All right, be congratulations on the Boss Man Show.